Happy Friday, folks. Uh, my name's Sal O'Regan. I'm currently a kindergarten teacher at Scone Grammar School. And uh, first of all, I'd just like to say well done for everyone getting through the first week of term three after our holidays. Uh, I've come along today just to have a little bit of a chat about how I incorporate some of the positive wellbeing concepts into my everyday teaching. And I had a really interesting and exploratory experience last term where the children in my class actually created a character that we now use on a daily basis to help us get unstuck. So we call her Hope and uh, the reason uh, that that name was chosen is probably relatively obvious. It's a, a very nice connection to character strengths. Uh, it's also a very positive word. It ties in beautifully with courage, which is uh, obviously a, a really important uh, concept to develop and to experience throughout kindergarten life. So Hope is also known as unstuck chick for the girls and unstuck guy for the boys. Uh, the character has got stretchy arms and the reason that we uh, made her arms stretchy or his arms stretchy is because obviously I'm constantly, uh, constantly encouraging the children to stretch their mind and to take themselves into areas perhaps of discomfort or to take risks. That's a very big part of uh, kindergarten education. And um, you know, it's also a very big part of the whole positive wellbeing education today. Unstuck Chick also has straight legs and these have actually been designed with purpose. The reason that her legs are straight are because I connect these to the general foundation and tool bag that I'm constantly building uh, for my children in my class. And those tools are concrete. They're strong foundations that enable the children to have a go at tasks and to feel confident to uh, engage in an experience. So at times you've got to really stretch yourself into areas of high risk or uh, areas that you have you not necessarily feel comfortable in. But I want the children to know that they've got this tool bag of skills that enable them to launch and have a go. Having a go is obviously a really big part of uh, early education in the school system. So Hope obviously in uh, our case always has a smile on her face. She's a very a courageous character, whether it's female or male. And I now incorporate her into most of my lesson plans. So she's actually part of the process now. So when I talk to the children about the activity that we're going to engage in, Part of the process is obviously to dial up our hope. And in effect, I'm saying to the children, please dial up your courage. And we often will go over the various different characteristics that are required in order to maximize your courage and your hope when you are doing something. Uh, it's been working really, really positively. And the children now actually very willingly say to me, don't forget we need some hope uh, when we're doing new types of tasks or we're learning new content. So I really feel like it has been a really, really wonderful tool. I have um, Hope visually displayed and I uh, make her and him accessible to the kids. And sometimes I'll put Hope on their table just as a reminder that even though they might be finding something hard, that it's a good feeling. To be finding something hard means that you're actually exploring and that you're discovering new. And that obviously is a big part of the uh, education journey.